guys at this point basically expect to see an absurd amount of book thrifting videos from us we know we have a problem we just love buying books half price books was having a 20 percent off sale for memorial day weekend last week and we had to go it was basically on everything in store and you guys know how much we love half price books the sale was going on all weekend but we didn't go until the last possible day so the shelves were definitely picked through and there was a lot of people when we went i was actually kind of surprised i've never seen it that busy but that's good <laughs> We gotta keep our store open. So I support everyone's purchase. We also recently went to Goodwill because that specific location always has really good titles. We're always surprised. It's always so much fun. So we're gonna go ahead and show you everything we got. So I did get House Apollo. This cover is so gorgeous. Every time I see it, I think I need this cover on my shelf. And now it will be. It says, where did Grey Hollow go? Iris Hollow and her two older sisters are unquestionably strange. As children, they disappeared on a Scottish city street only to return a month later with no memory of where they'd been or what had happened to them. More troubling, their appearance began to change. Their blue eyes are now black, their dark hair is now white, and as they grow older, odd and eerie occurrences seem to follow in their wake. I like it, right? Like, okay, let's figure out what's happened. This was in the YA section, so I'm curious to see how they're gonna keep it creepy, but also young adult at the same time. The first book I got at half price is The Witches of Moonshine Manor by Bianca Murray. I have been dying to read this one. I'm going to read it for October. I already have it planned out. I I think this is just gonna be like the perfect spooky cozy book. It says a coven of modern day witches, a magical heist gone wrong, a looming threat. This just sounds fantastic. In the story we're following five witches, it says it's funny, tender, and uplifting. The novel explores the formidable power that can be discovered in aging, found family, and unlikely friendships. This sounds so cute. Heartbreaking and heartmending, it will make you grateful for the amazing women in your life. This is gonna be such a good read. I do plan to read a lot of spooky books this fall, so this will be the perfect one to kind of break that up and be like a nice heart. 
for me one. This one was only $8.49 and then whatever 20% off of that is, is what I paid. This was in the clearance section. It's a book of the month book and it's The Hunting Wives. I've seen this so many times on Book Outlet and every single time I make a purchase, I think, should I get it? And I'm so happy that I didn't because I got this for probably $3. It was originally on sale for four. And the fact that it's a book of the month book, oh, it makes me so happy. It says The Hunting Wives share more than target practice, martinis, and bad behavior in this novel of obsession, seduction, and murder. We're following this girl and it seems like she has the perfect life, but she soon realizes that life is now too quiet and she's feeling bored and restless until she meets Margot Banks, an alluring socialite who is part of an elite clique secretly known as the Hunting Wives. Sophie is completely drawn to Margot and swept into a mysterious world of late night target practice and dangerous party. So our main character Sophie is slipping further away from the safety of her family and deeper into this nest of vipers. When the body of a teenage girl is discovered in the woods where the hunting wives meet, Sophie finds herself in the middle of a murder investigation and her life spirals out of control. I think that sounds really good. It's kind of reminding me of Family Donovan is Killing It where you have these like suburban housewives who don't seem like they would be involved in murder. Another fun suburban mom mystery vibe. So the next one I got was in the clearance section at half price and it is Lisa Gardner's Never Tell. I have some books by her. I don't know if I've read them yet. This one says a powerful novel about three women, two murders, and uncountable secrets. A man is shot dead three times in his home office, but his computer has been shot 12 times. And when the cops show up, his pregnant wife is holding the gun. Do we have that? I think I have that. Do you have it? I think I have it that. does sound familiar. It says when Detective Warren arrives on the scene, he recognizes the women. Evie Carter from a case years back. Evie's father was killed in a shooting that was ruled an accident. Before the detective, two coincidental murders is too many. All I know is one of us already owns this book. I think so. It sounds like a good murder mystery though. If we do both have it, we can read it together. It honestly was only $4 in clearance, so that plus the 20% off, I knew I had to get it. Next I saw Blackout. This I already own, but can we appreciate this cover please? This cover is so gorgeous. It was $4.99 with 20% off. It just made sense for me to get it. I have been wanting to read these short stories already because I know this is being adapted into a movie on Netflix. Six of the biggest stars of YA bring all the electricity of love to a collection of charming, hilarious, and heartbreaking tales that shine the brightest lights through the dark. When a heat wave plunges New York City into darkness, sparks fly for 13 teenagers caught up in the blackout. A first meeting, longtime friends, bitter exes, and maybe the beginning of something new. When the lights go out, people reveal hidden truths, love blossoms, friendships transform, and new possibilities take flight. I think it sounds really cute. It's a really short read, and we gotta read it before the movie comes out. Mm -hmm. The one I own is a hardcover so I'm gonna give Lauren that one and I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think my mind is just already in October. It's already ready for spooky season because I picked up another spooky book and this one you already own. We just recently hauled it. It is called The House by Christina Lauren. You guys know we love Christina Lauren writing. This is like their spooky book that they put out. We didn't even know it existed until we saw it at Books A Million. I didn't get it then. I wanted to get it now so now I have it. I seem to really like paranormal books and this is basically like a a little bit of a romance but also paranormal so that's the main reason why I wanted it. In the story we're following Gavin and Delilah. Gavin lives in the spooky maybe haunted house at the end of the street and Delilah has had a lifelong fascination with him so once they get together they start forming feelings however whatever lives in the house inside with him disagrees. Sounds spooky. Masterfully told and wholly original. That's what I need. I need a wholly original plot because I've been reading a lot of the same type of books recently so this will be a nice switch up. Next I have every last word. I read this a while ago. I actually read your copy, but this book was so freaking good. I remember crying my eyes out at the end. It's a YA book too. And normally those don't move me that much, but this one was so good. If you haven't read it yet, please read it. The plot twist is one I will never forget. So this is a coming of age story. Our main character is dealing with OCD. She's really just trying to find her place in this high school. Some things go down. You just gotta read it. We both really like this one and that's saying something. This was in perfect condition too. $5.49 with 20% off. Speaking of YAs, this is one that I have had my eye on for a while. It is called Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. If their name's actually Rainbow, that's really cool. It says two misfits, one extraordinary love. Set over the course of one school year, this is the story of two star-crossed 16 year olds smart enough to know that first love almost never lasts, but are brave and desperate enough to try. This is 
so good. You mentioned why A's don't really move you that often. I love them and they always move me, so I have such high expectations for this. On the back, one of the blurbs says, Eleanor and Park reminded me not just what it's like to be young and in love with a girl, but also what it's like to be young and in love with this book. John Green? If John Green says yes, I'm saying yes. Eleanor and Park, I'm ready to read it. So that was all of our half price books. Now we're gonna show you what we got from Goodwill. I found The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. I did read Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell and I absolutely loved it. So seeing this there was such a surprise for me. It was such a treat. What a treat! <laughs> I have been wanting to read more by her. This one sounds just as good. It says, soon after her birthday, Libby Jones returns home from work to find the letter she has been waiting for for 25 years. She rips it open with one driving thought. I am finally going to know who I am. She learns not only the identity of her birth parents, but also that she is the sole inheritor of their abandoned mansion. It says the family upstairs is a bone chilling suspense, brings us the can't look away story of three entangled families living in a house with the darkest of secrets. I think that sounds really good. It's giving like inheritance games, but mystery thriller. When I said it's giving inheritance games last time, you were like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Play the clip. Play the clip. I don't even remember <laughs> seeing this. My bad. I'm pulling it up. I'm gonna find it. I loved the last mystery thriller book I read by her, so I'm sure I'm gonna love this one too. We have a lot of the same books here. Mm -hmm. We have we're, a lot of buddy reading to do. We're just stacking up on our shared physical TBR, yeah. which was the opposite yeah, of what we were trying to do. We didn't to. need to do that. Anyway, the book that I got from Goodwill is Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. We love this movie out of Kitchen. I have been wanting to read the book because we love the movie so much, and I'm actually glad I found the cover that has like the actual characters from the movie. I remember being younger and this movie like changing my life, so I can't wait to explain experience it in book form. We're following a kid named Greg. He's a senior in high school and he basically tries to just fly under the radar and go unnoticed. He makes mediocre films with his best friend Earl and his plan works until Greg's mom forces him to become friends with a girl who has cancer. This brings about the destruction of Greg's entire life. This story is so good I'm gonna cry right now. I've been dying to see this movie recently too so I definitely want to read it first and then rewatch the movie and compare the two. This is the second book I have by Jesse Andrews. I need to read Mun Mun and then I'll read this one. Those are all the books we got. We're not gonna feel bad anymore about book thrifting. No you guys have let us know that it's fine if we're book thrifting. We're supporting our local stores. We're getting them second hand. Exactly. It's exciting for us. It's exciting for them. It's exciting for everyone. There's no negative thing about it. So that is all the books we got. Let us know if you have read any of these. We've officially kicked off our June book club book so make sure to join if you haven't already. We're currently reading Fourth Wing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time. Ooh! <gasps> I'm planning to read a lot of spooky books in October so I think this will be the perfect one to break it up and be like a cozy read I can, you know, cozy. <laughs> but for the detective to con- Con coincidental okay two condensed two condensed oh my god oh my god Con coincidental coincidental coincidental, coincidental. <laughs>